Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. I've got something rather special here for you today. Uh, a 1960 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe de Ville. Um, two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, starting and idling action at the end of both videos. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take this 1960 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe de Ville for a spin. It's amazing, it really is. Anyway, all light and uh, ignition light come up as they should. Starts smartly, no problems there at all. When it's cold, you do have to uh, give the throttle a few pumps because they don't really have a choke on on these. Um, so, let's take it out into D. For, considering it's 1960, this is so advanced. You've got electric seats, electric windows, power steering, power brakes. You'd need them, I suppose, on this. But uh, um, probably weighs over two tons. And it's not for shrinking violets. <laughs> Everybody looks at you when you're driving this. But it's just really, really smooth. Changes gear nicely. Rides beautifully. a lot of American cars in my time and this is probably one of the nicest riding ones I've had the privilege of driving. I really do feel you could go a long distance in this. Steering wise I imagine it's not um, a rack and pinion steering system but it's actually really quite direct although albeit quite light. It's like driving a Jaguar. Oil is wide, so I'm going to slow down to uh, make sure we get past people. But no signs of any misfiring, hesitancy, or overheating. Um, it's just trundling along quite happily. In fact, the temperature gauge is sitting at a quarter at the moment. Brakes nicely. They say you have got power brakes on it. stop it without power brakes and just the detail in here is, is beautiful it really is do you get a bit of wind noise at speed we're doing 50 miles an hour now probably the pillarless construction that doesn't help them from that point of view The, the odometer is showing 94.628 and it isn't moving. Uh, the speedo's working fine, but the odometer isn't. So we'll be selling it as mileage. Uh, mileage known incorrect. Both. I would imagine this um, this engine's good for half a million miles at least. I think there's 6.4 litre V8. corners reasonably flat. It's no sports car certainly but um, it doesn't wallow around as much as you'd think it would given its size. Probably helps it's on modern tyres actually. Turn round here. It's great the indicator uh, Telltale is in the front wings. There you go. And the indicator's even self cancel. Off we go. As I say, if you want to stay under the radar, it probably isn't the car for you. But I'm going to take it cruising in, uh, in Henley this afternoon and. Um, we appear on a few people's Instagram feeds, I should think. It's a 
shame we haven't got a drive-in cinema going on at the moment. This would be perfect for that. It's actually nicer to drive than you would think. Sometimes these big American boats can be a little bit of a challenge, but no, it's lovely. We're still sitting at a steady 70 now, and you know, I can, well, presumably you can hear me talking. doesn't feel under geared either the way that some American cars do. I could drive this all day, in fact I'm going to drive it all day today I think. up nice and cleanly. Um, makes the job that I do well it's not a job basically when you drive something like this so I think there we have it there's not a lot more I can tell you it's brilliant it really is it's probably in the park my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. Okay, a quick video of start up and idling on this. As you can see oil light and charge light come up as they should. Starts nicely. Turn the fans off. Go idling nicely, no problems at all. And there's its, uh, I think it's a 6.4 litre engine on this. Chugging away, well, chugging rather, uh, not chugging, it's just getting on with the job. So I think there we have it.